be, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm still going to be doing that. And uh, yeah, everything is just, the lockdown is only from 12 night till 5 in the morning. That's so, good. So uh, we can still be out and everything. Everything oh, is open. Yes. Our hotels are open and everything. And uh, everything is doing good, going great. Well, the hotels are still open? The hotels are open. The tourists are still coming. It's just that the cruise ships are not coming. Mm. But uh, their um, hotels, the hotels are not full, but they're, you know, half or quarter empty or empty, half full. <laughs> or <something>. Half full. <laughs> half full, half em empty. But, uh, yeah, everything is going great. And, uh, the, you know, it's not that many people getting affected, hopefully. I don't really know. But um, I'm sorry. we're doing great here in Aruba, enjoying the well, weather. How many, well, how many people have been affected by corona uh, this week? A couple of that, maybe a couple of Two thousand? Two thousand something. But how many people have passed away from COVID? Yeah, well, here in like Aruba? thirteen people passed away. Thirteen people. Well, that's yeah. kind of a catastrophe for, for here. Yeah. Because I think uh, I've only seen people pass away. But I like, think most people died of old age. <laughs> yeah, like a lot of the corona. You know, I saw a lot of things about the most coronavirus people this died week. Of old age, that, but they say that they died of. But you know what I heard? What's that? That. The chance of dying of COVID-19 is like very, very small because they say that the, these machines are super sensitive. Okay. E even if you have a, 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 a smidgen, like the pin of a, a whatever, a, a pin of a top of a pin thing of a trace of, of that thing. Mm -hmm the strain that it will register as well, positive exactly because uh, you know the thing is that everybody has a little bit of it we all have a little bit of the, the, well, the virus, virus is normally in our, yeah. a virus is in our body right. but the machines are so sensitive that they actually register as having coronavirus Oh my God! That's Even terrible. a little smidgen of it you can have in your in your body, and so um, it's just uh, I prob what I do have you guys think? I probably you have it. Everybody has well, everybody, a little bit of know, viruses in their body. This virus, but is we a gotta have that stuff to, otherwise we'll just be walking. A, a well, your body thing. develops antibodies for all kind of uh, yeah, sicknesses, and you know, virus. I mean, what is a virus? Like uh, flu is a virus. Uh, Coals, you know, like, and also, you know what I also heard this week, what I saw, um, that yeah. only 80, I think 86% of the COVID-19, of the people that said they have COVID, mm -hmm. only 80, uh, only 15, 60% of people actually died from actually COVID. Wow. Like the whole other percentage that they have with oh it's COVID COVID COVID, all these thousands of people didn't die from COVID. They died from natural causes. Yeah. And they and they admitted it. The CDC in America wow. admitted it. That, and a lot of the the numbers that they have up there, at least. And this is the natural. This is the regular news. So don't start taking us off because we're giving misinformation. We've gotten right. this from like CNN, CBS, uh, yeah. you know, ABC. The regular uh, mainstream media, we've got those uh, st stats. So, and you know. also they say that most people that actually get it, or most people that die, mm -hmm. they actually have underlying diseases. They Causes, have something yeah. causes, you know. They have something else already. Right. And in their body, there's like a smidgen of that thing, and then they register that as a, a, a there that they died of that specifically but while they've probably been suffering for something from something for a long time like you know diabetes or they have cancer or they have anything right and it just uh, registers as it's really only sad, yeah, that yeah. and that that's kind of ridiculous they're, but they're there's a trying. lot of there are a lot of people also getting healed it's like you're getting a cold you get a cough, but then you just take your vitamins, you go outside, 
as long as you get this vitamin D, that's the sun, and okay. you should be outside. And All right. You actually get healed. People get healed from colds. You know. People get healed from flus. People get healed from all kinds of things. <laughs> it's true. But so it's not that, oh, you get it, so you're supposed to die. But you, you know, know what, I, what I, mean? I haven't even heard, I haven't even heard Christians or people who believe in faith healers, haven't, I haven't heard many people talk about being healed from COVID. Have you? Have you heard of anything like that? Oh, Let us know. True. I don't think. You know, it seems like it's just like the whole religious world just went, zoop, it just shut down. You don't, I don't know if because they're blocking many uh, transmissions or talks okay. or from conservatives. Or they always say conservatives. Like I said, I hate that. Like Christians, you know, like you don't hear yeah. much of it online. And it seems like, I, I don't know if it's being dep suppressed uh, by these big tech giants. Who knows? They control so many things now. And a lot of people are being demonetized or, and also uh, like the YouTube are taken off of platforms and uh, their uh, things are canceled. And it's kind of heartbreaking, you know, when we, we all should be able to speak the truth and say things that we all say, especially Americans, you know, want to, that we want to say, you know, it's really true. Yeah. But yeah, it's not really, a, you know, a, a free speech place anymore. Plus, I've, I heard that when you do say the truth and when you bring things up, do you get death threats? Death, death threats? threats? Oh, God. The, because the, did you hear of, of Nancy Pelosi? She was caught in the... <laughs> oh, God. In the now, hair that salon. took the cake. That was quite and amazing. And actually, the person who talked about it, because she said she was set up or something like that, but even mm -hmm. if she was set up, she shouldn't have been there preaching something but doing something else. Right. You know, you're supposed to practice what you preach. She's the one who's really promoting all this... Uh, you know, face mask wearing and all this kind of stuff and social distancing when she's not really preaching it, her, doing it herself. But the thing is that the, the owner of the the hair salon is getting death threat, threats. Yeah, is Nancy Pelosi uh, threatening her? Or who, I don't know. Where, the people that maybe are, uh, that like her or the people that are behind her or uh, Black Lives Matter. I don't really know, but <laughs> she's getting, I don't really know who, but oh anyway. My God. Really, it's <laughs> getting really intense, that right? That matter. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh God. But anyway, I, you so know, you basically, know. if you really say what you believe or if you really want to, uh, you know, bring things out in the open, things that are, you know, hidden or something, then you actually have to expect some kind of retaliation or something, or something because then you are uh people will you know try to kill you yeah, but they want to tough. close your mouth you know because they don't want people that's why they want to probably get rid of all the old people that they talk too much you know the old people it's it's, it's they know they, <laughs> they know like let's look we've we've been through a lot right guys all you people over 60 you've seen a lot of stuff on the news and before they had so much news uh, news was, was scarce, let's say 40, 50 years ago, and you saw one channel or two channels on TV. They and were so, the news. <laughs> that was it. But and, and so you really weren't saturated with so much right. news, so you got stuff and you remember things a lot easier. I know I did. I mean, right. for me. And so, but now it's just boom, 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 boom. Every day something's hitting you. But guess what? I, I, what I wanted to share with you this week really is on my heart, and I really got to get this off my heart, guys. Um, okay, we know COVID-19, and we know the race riots and all this other stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And all this stuff. Now, when you look at the news worldwide, I was just going to want to bring it into a biblical sense. Right. Like, uh, I see all these things. I, I Like I said, I gave my last statement, my real... Uh, conclusion to this whole race thing in America. I, I put it on my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. I think you can see it on my Facebook page. And what I said was, uh, look, just read it for yourself. It's at the top of my Facebook page. Because I think I'm really getting tired of commenting on this race issue. Because uh, it's but really... It's it, it's never ends because uh, we're trying to solve a problem of heart. You can't make right. anybody love you. You can't make people want to help you. Everybody has their own personal desires, likes, exactly. dislikes. And one of the main things that really hit me is that why are we, 
trying to cause disbelievers, atheist people, or people who don't care about humanity, to make them be considerate of others and loving others and wanting to help others and wanting to be just to everybody, to all kind of people, right? So basically everybody's riding in the street because they want everybody to be, uh, let's say, nice, nice, equally minded of others, you know, and, but everybody doesn't think like that. Not even God himself forces us to be the way he wants us to be. We're not all, mono, uh, you know, like robots, like robots. right? Yes. So everybody's writing, we want justice, we want justice, we want peace. Okay, America years ago, this is one thing that really hits me. America years ago, because mm -hmm. I really want to kind of stop, stop talking about these racial issues because they never end. Like in my book, uh, if you can read it, my book, it'll really kind of point you in the right directions of things that you really know need to know about race. Because worldwide, worldwide, it's not just black and white. It's not just Indians and and the, the red uh, or blacks or Indians and the and the whites or whatever. All of us are the same because we're creations of God, but we are a fallen people. Right. So we're trying to legislate righteousness on all these other people races. Well, let's look. Okay, let's stay with stick with America. We're trying to make all the white people mm -hmm. or all the black people like each other right. and and accept our idiosyncrasies, right? right? We can't because not even God himself does that. But that's why we as Christians, mm -hmm. well, I'm a Christian. I, I love Jesus Christ. I received him my Savior many, many, many years ago, but I've always known about Jesus and the Bible and stuff. But people who are not Christians are people who don't believe in God, are people who don't care about other people, how in the world are you going to make them love other people or help other people? It's just, mm -hmm. it's not going to work. And and also laws and regulations pass to make people do certain things. They're just not going to do it. You know, because we're not, we're not uh, robots mm -hmm. and we're not going to do it. So all the rioting in the street and all the money and all the legislation and discussion isn't going to solve that problem if you don't have the love of God in your heart. If you don't care about other people, yeah. they're not going to change. So you're out there in the street doing all this stuff right. and trying to make people be kind and loving to each other, but it's just not going to happen. You think it's, they can change people their mind by burning up their places? Burning up. The problem it's gonna is, cause more look, hate, it's it? going to cause more hate because everybody wants revenge. Right. So if you do this to me, I'm going to try to do this to you. And it just and never ends. Now, this has been going else. on for thousands of years. Right. So how is burning up somebody's uh, hair salon or burning up somebody's grocery store going to solve that problem? You can't. Right. Only God himself can solve that problem. That's but, true. you know, so I put that, that, that statement in my Facebook page, and I'm probably having my, web, my other websites. And because at the end of the day, I was sitting there, and I was getting all worked up about all these things. But yeah. you can't do that. It's trying to legislate righteousness and trying to make people be good. When they, a lot of people, a lot of people do not want to be good. They do not want to help others. They do not want to love others. They do not, they just don't want to do it. So all your rioting and freaking out and police reform and all this other stuff isn't going to solve the problem because it is right. a matter of the heart. Exactly. If you don't have love in your heart, of course you're going to be doing that. Right. But, but the thing, one thing that really hit me was uh, this week, I wanted to read you something. And uh, I saw this and I, I was just so excited because uh, we are living in the final days before the return of Jesus Christ on the earth. Right. I'm just gonna say that. I mean, I know it sounds simplistic and the real problem is not racism. It's not racism. It's not racism, right? Uh, I watched uh, a documentary last night, and uh, it was a documentary on Rwanda, the situation in Rwanda, Africa, yeah. right? Uh -huh. uh, for those of you who don't know, it's a west, it's a east, north, near East Africa, near Uganda, and in uh, just to give you a little. reminder or a little summary of what 
I saw. I'm going to cover this all today. I just really want to talk about insincerity, and I hope you're with us, and, and, and you can kind of get a picture of what I'm trying to say. Racism is not the problem in America. Systemic racism amongst white people is not the problem. It's something greater than that, and why these things are being perpetuated, perpetrated on the population. It's a coordinated plan worldwide to cause everybody to be each, other, each other's throats, okay. to be mad at each other and freaked out at each other. Now, a classic example, uh, I was watching this documentary last night about Rwanda. You guys mm -hmm. may, some of you may remember, some of you weren't born when this massacre happened, but right. these are black uh -huh. African people. Okay. They're the same people, okay, mm -hmm. different tribes, Right. Some of them, you know, and they're all mixed up in this one country of Rwanda. Mm -hmm. You look it up yourself. But here's a little uh, summary. It says, uh, the radio television, I, the, this is like the radio televi uh, television Libra de Mills mm -hmm. Colognes and we're Rwanda, a Rwanda, we're Rwanda radio station, which broadcasted on July 1993 through 94, and it played a significant role in exciting the April... July 1994 genocide against the Tutsis from the Hutus. Mm -hmm. Now these these are the same people. Different tribes? Yeah, it's it some you know different tribes, but it's the same people really right. basically. Same, same and race. Same race. Uh -huh. They're black. Right. Africans, right? Now the So it was a wireless so this radio station mm -hmm. at some point. A lot of there's a lot of stuff that led up to this, but anyway, this radio station, you gotta really watch out for the media and how they get you worked up, right? right? So this radio station was widely lit li uh, listened to by the general public. It projected hate propaganda against wow. Tutsis, moderate Hutus, yeah. and Belgium's and the United Nations mission, uh, Una Mayer, is widely regarded by many uh, Rwanda citizens. Yeah. A view also shared and expressed by the UN war crimes tri tribunal as having played a crucial role in creating the atmosphere of charged racial hostility yeah. that allowed the genocide to occur. A working paper published at University Harvard, found, uh, University Harvard University found that the RTLM broadcasts were an important part of the process of mobilizing the population mm -hmm. which com complemented the mandatory Umuganda meeting has been described as a radio genocide, death by radio, and the soundtrack to genocide. All right, they use the radio station to broadcast the Hutu, Hutus so Hutus so sad washed watched out of the media. The same race killing each other. What is that? The same. Wow. Race, the Hutus and the Tutsis, they're the That's same sad. race. The I don't know all the details, but just to kind of make this short, I don't want to be too long. Like the media hyped up the Hutus against the Tutsis, and they were actually listening to the radio telling where people actually were so that the Hutus could go and kill the Tutsis. Wow. And they slaughtered thousands, millions, like a million or so well, people. What did, did they tell them that they were better? Yeah, they, they spoke each, see they always start whipping, see one side gets whipped up against the other side and right. these people are dogs and these people are that and they're this right. and they, they, they whip each other up just right. like in the media right now yeah. until these people get mad at each other and they actually get to the point where they start killing. As soon as somebody, as soon as somebody other. kills somebody's brother, sister, mother, or husband or whatever, then the other person, oh I want revenge and it just goes on and escalates from there and that's what's happening worldwide. That's so right. so I was checking that out and I just was like, wow, man, this is just, uh, and so I was just watching that, this documentary, and I'm seeing these same African people all slaughtering each other from this media. Of, it's a little more details than that, not just the media themselves, but the people who are behind, who control the media, yeah. was whipping up the population against the other people mm -hmm. who are basically the same people. Yeah. So that's what we're experiencing right now in America. And it's not just black, white issues. These things are happening to cause division and war. And the news media, the mainstream news media, is being used as a tool mm -hmm. to whip this up. That's right. 
So I was sitting there. I was about, you know, because you want to go, oh, yeah, it's the white people. Uh, it's the black people. Uh, and, you know, you listen to the news and you see, you actually, because the news is always showing other people talking and, and trying to stay abreast of what's going on daily, you see one day this, this politician might be saying something and then you hear the whole thing, you hear the whole speech, and then the next day you hear the news media cut off the person's speech yeah. and twist it the way they want to to exactly. say what they want to say. Out then of one sentence. Or out of one sentence. And so you watch the people lie. So then you get infuriated and upset about all of it. And then you yeah. want to uh, be mad at your brother. Right. And so that, that just kind of jumped on me yesterday. And uh, I just wanted to share that with everybody here that we really need to watch and, and exactly. think about what these people are telling us to do because we'll be each other's throat forever. Exactly. And we'll be definitely killing each other what they're trying to whip up just because some politician uses the news media the way they want to and you're out there killing each other. So anyway, I, I was just wanted to bring that out. Be careful about the news media, you know, uh, the uh, mainstream news media especially, and all these other little uh Breakoffs or upstarts and everything like that because everybody has their opinion and everybody's trying to share their opinion and they want their opinion to be dominant okay. and cause you to react a certain way. Yeah. So a beautiful country like America is just being destroyed from all these from personal, within. yeah, from within, from these personal. They don't even have to get an army to go there and kill them. They're just killing them from within. It's like a, a apple being eaten up by worms from the inside. Right. Okay, so it's amazing. So the main thing so then I was like then I was just I watched that and then I was just like, oh you know, I'm so tired of this race thing, you know. I was like, God, it must be something else, right? So I started listening to I said, you know what, it's Saturday night. This was last night. I said it's Saturday night. So well, you know maybe maybe I'll watch a movie or or maybe I'll just see something. And it just so happens my wife and that thought came up to me because I'd watch myself silly. Uh, I walk in, I go with my wife, you know, where Melody is, you know, uh, Teresita, and she's watching a, a comedian, right? Uh, what was his name? It's uh, that English guy. He's a black guy. Or half Trevor, Noah. Trevor, Trevor. Trevor Noah. Trevor Noah. Mm -hmm. And he's just joking. And then what's the other short guy? Gary Hart. Che Gary, what's it? Um, um, Hart, the Hart guy. Hart, yeah. yeah. And so they're telling the jokes and you start laughing. Ah, 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 ah. And then I forgot about it. Ah, I don't worry about it. But then after a while, Hart starts talking about gay jokes. And it just got really disgusting. You know, I don't want to be self-righteous, okay? A lot of stuff you said was funny. What can I say? But then he started talking about it. It just kind of went over that way. And then, we, and then it went into another uh, guy, another comedian, the British guy. No, he's South African. And then he yeah, starts talking so about... He's also talking about gay jokes. He talked about gay jokes. Okay, da, da, da. It wasn't as heavy as... Then as, I turn, as then I well, let, let, let me finish the music because okay. I got to get this point out. Look. Hmm. Then he started talking about gay jokes. And then the thing is, the la finally, I said, you know what? He went into a joke that included evolution. And, and according to the joke, we're, we're, retrogress we're retrogressing back to the apes we were before. And I was like, when he started saying that, I was like, ah, shoot. So actually, it was a joke, but it kind of it gave the impression that we were apes. Wow. It's not the joke wasn't that we apes, but the whole general thing was we were retrogressing back to our original form, our evolutionary form, which started out as apes. And I thought, Psh, I don't believe in that. You know, I didn't come from an ape. I came from God, right? Mm -hmm. So I kind of went to, I just said, I forget it, and I just left and went to bed, right? So... What hit me was, and then, uh, so I just thought, we're constantly being bombarded and being indoctrinated and filled, filled to overflowing with all these people's opinion about life. That's really these are different mean. people's opinions. It's not the truth, right. you know? If you believe in evolution, okay, well, that's your right. You know, but if you're a Christian, how... Can you believe uh, all this stuff that they're constantly pumping onto us, right? And then what, what, what it went on to that, I just sat there and I started, when you watch the worldwide news, all of it, 
almost every place you watch. Mm -hmm. Something hit me yesterday. That I don't know if it's being brought out a lot, but I'm going to bring it out. Every single place on the planet right. is corrupt politicians. Exactly. Everybody's protesting every corrupt country. politicians. Yes. Almost every single That's country. Right. Yeah. I didn't say, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is weird. So I, I went to, uh, I went to uh, BBC, right. you know, British News, and you know, I watched Australian, you know, ABC, Everywhere. Australian News. And then I watched French News, you know, because sometimes I like to watch the French News because then if you watch it in French, you can get the real insight of what's, happen what's happening in the French speaking countries, you right. know, like Africa. Because yeah. I want to stay abreast of the Congo and places like that. So then I went and I started watching uh, Al Jazeera, you know, Al Jazeera is still kind of pro anti anti uh, conservative anyway, but still, I like to I watch a variety of news just to kind of see what's really going on because in American news is Trump, 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 Biden, Trump, Biden, Trump, yeah. Biden. You get to, ah! I'm so constantly. sick of Trump, Biden, constantly. So anyway, so I just watched a pattern. I, something went, you know, exploded in my head. It's happening worldwide. Mm -hmm. All this stuff is happening worldwide the race issue and equal and evil po politicians yes. and are voting for the right politicians to lead the people yes. and i just see it just start you realize wait a minute this is an agenda it seems like an, a, a coordinated agenda why is all this stuff happening at the same time right right so then i then i started thinking about the bible you know and it says and i thought wow man if this stuff keeps on like this the Antichrist, well, I believe, that, I believe that there's a guy coming called the Antichrist very soon, and he's going to take over the whole planet. And they are working on a one world government. All the jokes about one world government, all the uh, promotion right now in most TV stations are about global one world governments and promoting it and praising it and everything else. Now, then mm -hmm. I thought about this chapter. I'm going to read you this, guys. I hope you get something out of this because it really just blew my mind because it seems really coordinated, all this stuff. Now, if you go to book of Second Thessalonians, right? I'm going to read you the old, I'm going to read you King James Version. Some of you people are in the King James and some are in other versions. But look what, look what it actually says. It shows you how real the Bible is and how true it is and how it's really up to date and current for us right now. Look at this. If you go to Thess 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, it says, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither be by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as, that the, that as the day of the Lord is at Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that that man of sin be revealed, the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God, and that is worshiped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now ye know that withholding that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right? Yes. Even him whose coming is after the working, after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonder, right? And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, God shall send them strong delusions that they might believe a lie. Right? So, there it is. That's like, this guy has got to be revealed. And if you look at another, here's another. I'm going to do another version. I just bear with me here, guys, because this is going to, this blew my mind when I saw this, right? This is the, uh, 
this is a new national inter- um, version of the of this part in the Bible. The man of lawless, lawlessness, a more up to date kind of a speaking way of speaking. Look at this. Concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Some people are like, hey, is Jesus coming tomorrow? And, uh, this might encourage you guys because Jesus is not coming tomorrow. I'm going to tell you that right now. And he's not going to come at any time and all this other stuff people say. But look. Concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered to him, we ask you, brothers and sisters, not to become easily unsettled or alarmed by the teachings allegedly from us, whether by a prophecy or by word of mouth or by letter, asserting that the day of the Lord has already come. Because they were trying to say, oh, Jesus already come. They say that stuff already now. They say it now, even today. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way for all, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs. There's a world rebellion right now. And the man of lawlessness is revealed. And the man doomed to destruction, he's going to be destroyed. He will oppose all and exalt himself above everything that is called God, our worship, so that he sitteth himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. Wow. I was like, that blew my mind. All these guys are acting like they're God, you know, like trying to, oh, the world virus, you got to take the vaccine. You got to do this. You got to do that. And I know better of what, right? For you. Okay. I, it's up to you, but I'm just saying, I don't want to get some mark or something because as soon as you start talking about those things, but the Bible is being fulfilled right before our very eyes. So don't you remember that when I was with you, I used to tell you these things. And now you know what is holding him back so that, the, so that he may be revealed at the proper time. For the secret power of lawlessness is already at work. It's lawlessness, the world, totally freaking out. But the one who knows, now holds it back, will continue to do so till he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow with the breath of his mouth and destroy by the splendor of his coming. The coming of the lawless one will be in accordance with how Satan works. He will use all sorts of delays, displays of power through signs and wonders that serve the lie. And all the ways that wicked disease deceived, all these wicked ways to deceive those who are perishing. They perish because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God shall send them powerful delusions so that they will believe the lie and so that all will be condemned who have not believed the truth but have delight in wickedness. So and then it goes on to admonish the guy to stand firm. So folks, uh, guys, all of us, there is a united coordinated worldwide effort to bring down all of us to and if you are Christians if you don't know Lord I mean you know just if I wouldn't say it's not a matter of being perfect or good it has to be to do with believing and receiving and knowing God and Jesus Christ right so the problem is not racism but Antichrist and anti God governments worldwide being voted in. And you see the thing, you watch, you look at Africa, you look at Europe, you look at the Far East, you look at North America, you look at South America. It's the same thing going on worldwide. And this coronavirus is all pushing us into that little funnel right. to follow this one world government. Look at all, all the police now. Have you noticed that all the police now wear blue, navy okay. blue? All the uniforms. They used to be different colors for different yeah, countries. Yeah, yeah. I remember in Germany, all the all the uh, police used to wear uh, tan and green. Yeah. Now they wear this navy blue color. In America, right. this navy blue color. In yeah. South America, in Aruba here, everybody's wearing these navy, these navy dark navy blue colors yeah. because they're unifying worldwide into this one world government. Exactly, yes. And it, it wouldn't be so bad if it was if they were really trying to unite and and help us all. But the point is, it's a godless government that's being established where they teach evolution as the origin of man. 
they teach all these things and you know that you can be whatever you want to be you can be a dog you can be a cat you can be a man you can be a woman if you're a woman you're a man you can be a man if you can be a woman all these other things and it's a rebellion against the word of god now that that chapter please look it up today you can read it in your own time but we are facing a worldwide deluge a flood of lies and it's like that is why I believe the Bible so much. And that's why it's important to read the Bible yes. and know this stuff, man, because it's just happening. Exactly. And all it is is rebellion. Here the guys go, the black lives might go, no police, defund the police. We don't want any police. It's rebellion against authority. Exactly. Yes. It's That's what it is. Because the Bible says to obey the, the, the powers that be, right? Yeah, obey the it doesn't mean obey ungodly, wicked no, ass harsh. powers either. Yes. Okay, so don't get me wrong. But... That's really what the problem is. It's not a racial issue. Right. It's the problem is they want to be at us to be at each other's throats. Yes. Because they want to bring in this one world government everywhere. And America is resisting it. Uh, right. Trump's, uh, Trump is not falling into that category, letting us fall into that. Because right. everybody, they need, the America is needed to, to really unify this yes. one world government. And that's what the struggle is. That's and right. so they're using black issues, black American issues, and their grievances to take over America. Right. Simple as that. I hope you're listening. If you have any comments, what do you think? I mean, I, I, you can see it. And a lot of the issues, it's not how many black, you know, there are so many people being killed every day yeah. who are not black. That guy, why, 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 why isn't? Mm -hmm. Why aren't all America up in arms about the guy who shot the Christian guy the other day? Yeah. The guy, they, they killed him, what, day before the yesterday? They killed him. They finally killed him. He, he, why aren't we out in the street? Uh, uh, uh. I guess it's only Black Lives Matter. Because they're, they're using our black grievances and yeah, problems right. to sow dissension and right. war in the country. That's and right. the thing is, what really, really, I would say it pisses me off. Right is that the churches mm -hmm. have become a part of this devilish takeover. Preaching that this Antichrist doctrine, anytime a church grow, look guys, let's be honest, especially if you're a Christian church, if you're a witch church, okay, what can you say? <laughs> you know, you gotta read whatever. Mm -hmm. But listen, if you're a Christian, how can you stand up and condone violence and killing and pillaging and robbing these people's businesses and killing, actually wanting to kill people. How in the H, <laughs> you know what I mean, you get my drift, can Christians be behind a movement that's promoting that? Also, how can they, Christians be behind a movement that the, or, uh, the originators yeah. of Black Lives Matter are witches calling up, looks, right? calling up war spirits from Africa. I mean, they're not my they they're my physical ancestors, but I've been washed by the blood of Jesus Christ and right. saved, wonderfully saved, right. and I am dependent on God and His angels to protect and watch over me and help guide me in my life. So why would I be for a movement? And how if you if you're a real Christian? How could you be behind that? How could you even condone that and even promote it? I'm just totally ashamed. I'm ashamed of you. I really am. I'm, I'm, I'm not perfect. We all make mistakes. But to be ardently behind a movement that promotes violence and terror, brings terror to people's lives and killing innocent and hurting people. How can you? How can you? And also they had... Uh the democratic speech from Biden they had in a church. Oh yeah, and then they had the thing in the church. Now they just said the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Okay, I don't know what Father is Son, the Holy Ghost. Were they talking about Jesus Christ or something else? You know, there's a lot of weird stuff going on right now in a lot of churches, and, uh, and sometimes I'm just I feel so it's sad. True, a lot of churches are behind Black Lives Matter. That's what I'm saying. So how that. can you promote? Okay, Black Lives do. 
matter. No, all lives matter. Let me, you know, all lives yeah. matter. And it's like we just, I think they're making a big deal out of nothing because a lot of people, a lot of black men are being hurt. A lot of black men are going through these things. I went through these things when I was a kid. But right now, the main issue is yeah. church needs to wake up to these infiltrators who are not of God and who are causing us as Christians to stand up for devilish people and causes. There's nothing wrong with standing up for true justice in America, but not everybody. They're not going to do it, folks. They're just not because they're evil, wicked men like everybody else. We all make mistakes and we all blow it. So racism is not going to be solved through legislation. It isn't. And so our job, the most important thing we need to do as Christians is to wake up and share the message of Jesus Christ and salvation to the world. And also, uh, Jesus is coming back. That's right. <laughs> I don't understand. What in the H are we out there talking about Jesus and love and God? And our whole thing is to tell people the truth that Jesus Christ is coming back. All the prophets, I just read to you out of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, I think it is, right? That what's going on right now? Read it yourself. Take time to go back, pull that Bible off, blow it off, and read it. Because Jesus Christ is about ready to take over this planet. Because if he doesn't, the Bible says that if those days were not shortened, there would no flesh be left. Because these people are wicked. Because uh, these people are following the author and of confusion, right. the man of perdition, right. Satan himself, who hates you, who hates God's people, right. who doesn't care about you, and he's using us niggas. I'm sorry, I said the N word. Yeah. The niggas to sow dissension and war in America. Okay, look, I know that I know that uh, you got the white extremists. You know, what do you call those guys? Um, <laughs> they, they came out, they, somebody made them a time machine and projected them up to the, 20, the 21st century. All the Ku Klux Klan, so they had to run around. You don't have to be afraid about no damn Ku uh, Klux Klan. They'll see you like I tell you. Most of them, they're trying to make money to eat. And most of them, everybody loves here is starving today. Thank God, most of all the, all the white people saved their money, bought food, and they're all ready. And y'all niggas out there running around the street. Rah, rah, they got food, folks. <laughs> and they got their guns. And you go, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Over, you know, but there are millions of people. You better get prepared. You better get prepared yourself. You know, forget the white supremacists. They don't care about you, man. They're trying to live. They're trying to They're eat. They're not going to share their food with you. <laughs> they sure ain't going to share food with you. So I'm saying, you better straighten up because I'll tell you something. We are living in the time of the end. What does God have to do? Well, God isn't going to beat you over the head. So read that chapter and really think about what we're saying. And then you might get it's just with your pants you go, down. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be caught with your pants down. You be caught in the toilet. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you are. And let me tell you, we are living in the time of the end. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. And it's time to just wake up to the whole truth. Worldwide, the reason why there's confusion and war around the whole world right now is because there's a war being led on against God, a rebellion against God. Ultimately, it's probably against God. It's against God and God's laws. First it starts against each other. Right. And then it eventually will divert, to be redirects uh, to God, against God. Of course. Like, when I was in Europe, uh, in Germany, I ran to many people from Rwanda, and they, one guy said, listen, man, we, were, we loved each other. All of us lived together in peace before these white guys got there wow. and sowed division in Africa. Whoa. And I was like, because it's like, you know, you always say, oh, the motherland. Huh? But they're killing. And I'm going to say it once again. I, like I said now, I don't care about 
all these racial issues, to be honest, because all this stuff is being perpetrated by the devil, division and war. But let's be honest. Okay. Exactly. Everybody has their turn. He'll use anyone. Right. He'll use his he ever. He doesn't even care about color. Yielding. He just uses people that are already angry and have a chip on their shoulder. Mm -hmm. To He just jumps on them to uh, make it, you know. Exactly. Happen. But what's going on right now is that there is an agenda. And I, I broke my heart. I almost cried last night when I was watching the news because every channel I turn to, look, yeah. I'll show you right here. I'm going to show you. Uh, these are some of the news articles. I'm trying to get them over. These are some of the news articles I looked at. You know, I looked at, you know, CBN, uh, CBS News, you know, general thing. And uh, then I went to uh, BBC and then I went to Al Jazeera and I, and I went to some other French news. I don't have to show the French news. But anyway, the French. And so... You're watching here. You're watching all these different things. You know, I was just looking at all these different news headlines. You can see the headlines worldwide. It's the same thing. You know, Poland? not cutting grass, but Poland. Poland's fighting what? right now. Um, what's called? Uh, this another. Oh this? no, Portland. Not that's Portland. Portland. But there's another place. Uh, Portland. Wow. Oh look, there they are, y'all. <laughs> that's the Ku Klux Klan. But anyway. Whoa. Uh, I'm just showing you worldwide. There's confusion and everything, and it's got, and it's mm -hmm. all happening everywhere. everywhere at the same time. So this is a coordinated effort to sow division and confusion, so we'll be discouraged and freaked out, and also that we'll be at each other's throats, fighting against each other. Now, Christians, please think about this, especially if you're out there yelling "Black Lives Matter." You got to realize that we black people have been used for centuries to perform the white agenda right. of the world. I'm not trying, like I said, they're very, I love all people, but there are a small percentage of white old men that are causing us to beat each, other, each other's throat. Take the lesson that, that uh, you may have learned from Rwanda. Peace-loving people loved each other in peace. As soon as they got there and wanted that gold or whatever they got in those places, they cause the native people to be at each other's throat. And that's even what's happening in America. You got black people uh, wanting to fight other black people in America, killing them, and the babies being destroyed. Now, I know people keep bringing this up, but it's just the truth. Somebody says it's a conspiracy theory. Let me tell you something, man. It's not a conspiracy theory. I've no. lived in all these countries, many of them, and I've seen the same thing with my own eyes. I didn't hear it on news. I didn't hear some, some talk guy on... Uh, some YouTube channel. I've seen it with my own eyes, how they divide exactly. and con conquer. And the natives in Africa know the routine of these globalist people who want their countries, right. want their gold, want their oil, want their water, whatever they want, and sow division and dissension, and then he take the whole country. Exactly. And that is what's happening in Africa. When they get, re when they get fighting each other, then the... The enemy comes in and just takes everything because they're right. so busy fighting each other. other. And that's his very they're tactic. And they're until the man is gone. Exactly. So I don't know, you know, like America is per said it is going to be the whore in Revelations that they're going to that they're going to burn her with fire. Right. Now I didn't understand it at first. I used to read that, and I couldn't say how could they do that? Why would they want to do that? But right now, if America goes, that's it. And if, if they fight, I don't know, it seems like they might be able to fight and resist it and then the whole world gets mad against her and burn, blows it up. Yeah. So the, the point I'm trying to make, though, let's, let me stick to the point, is that we are being manipulated. Right. We are being uh, used as pawns in this world power game. And all the niggas, I'm sorry, there is a, uh, how you say, a hit, a hit notice out for you. Right. They want to kill... And they want to destroy. And why you say, oh, why do black people, why do black people? Why is the coronavirus only attacking the main people that are attacking our ethnics? You know, the, are the, uh, like the, the browns. Right. It's not only attacking the browns, but I'm saying it seems to have, the, it have, it has a higher percentage of death rates among these groups. It's probably been created to of attack the people with that, that specific DNA. 
Well, there you are. It's like they designed these things. They designed so, that thing. Because if they have a patent I, for that, mm -hmm. that means they designed it. They created it. Of course. For a specific purpose. Of course. So the point is, uh, it's time that we just step back, look at the truth. Mm. Stop being at each other's throats and look at the real enemy that's involved in this the real the person that we really should focus on you know when you do a magic trick which he's the devil's the biggest deceiver right. they always get your attention over here while they do something yeah, over here with right. their hand you know yeah. like over here while you're looking there yeah. so that's what's happening right now that's they got the is. whole world all confused all freaked yeah. out of all these different things little tricks they're doing and at the same time they're deceiving us so that they can get the result that they want right which is the one world government completely implemented and us Christians out there fighting for devilish causes. Wow. I wouldn't say that justice is devilish. Okay, we all need, it would be good if we, uh, if we were united in our goals and we were, would all wanted the same thing, justice. But there is no justice and there is no peace in this world because the author of confusion is creating all this that's right it won't be i wouldn't i wouldn't say don't protest maybe get a few little things but look time is up the game is almost it's over no use destroying lives and destroying things because that does not get the, the point across it's tough it's like Can't it's you just tough have normal uh, what Talking about the situations yeah, and the, just the, sitting at a table. And the thing is, just uh, without having to use violence, because listen. violence usually never solved anything. <laughs> Even yeah. at the end, no matter if one person one wins, the other one is always going to want to retaliate. Somebody's going to lose. The There's always going to be a loser in every fight. But war never solved any problem. Exactly. Ever. So true. Just sitting and negotiating and making deals and things like that is the only thing that But really see, the, the, the problem is, Mel Teresita, is that these world leaders, the people who actually run the world, they don't want peace. Right. And so no matter how much and we the try... the kingdom, there is no There peace. is no peace. No matter how exactly. much we try, uh, level-headed, uh, well-thinking... Exactly people who are actually trying, whether believers in God or not, were just tired of the violence and they just want peace for humanity. No, it's true. Whether they want it or not, the point is the people who actually control the world and who pull the the purse strings are perpetrating these things and causing these things and agitating these things. And it's just we as loving people need to stand up against this. Now, it's got to happen, though, I'm just right. saying. But at least the fact, what I, the reason why I'm saying this is not to try to solve the world race, racial issues. There is a cure, but the cure, a lot of people don't want the cure. Read my book, Racism and the Cure, cure you can get it at montycagle.com. But uh, the point is, there are people who control the world right now who do not want peace. Exactly. No matter how much we try, no matter how much we That's unite, right. No matter how good little good feeling things we try to share with people, it, it's not going to happen. Because they're whoremongers. Exactly. Because they're serving their father, the devil. Exactly. And he does not want peace. He's been for war ever since the beginning. He's against. And the thing is, the that. only what people can do now, the only thing you can really do, is prepare yourself for exactly. the coming of Jesus Christ. Get exactly. strong in the word of God. Exactly. Because you are going to be affected by the worldwide crash. Exactly. There's going to be an economical crash. It's been predicted in the Bible. And just stock up on food, supplies, water, and get ready for this to happen. Because it's going to happen. <laughs> the preppers are ready. And uh, just people yeah. are leaving the big cities. They know. They, they know. know what's going to happen. But the thing is that you need to be prepared most of all mentally. Exactly. Be, be prepared mentally and be strong. Spiritually. Knowing, spiritually, too. knowing that God will keep and protect you. Amen. But you need to be strong in the word of God because the Bible says many failing, many people are going to fail. Many people are going to fear for what failing. It says uh, fear, those things that are coming upon the earth. Yeah, and they're going to actually be 
uh, uh, there's going to be a great falling away of the right. faith. People are going to say, uh, not, um, you know, have faith or believe in God. People mm. are going to, but then they're going to be totally freaked out because they don't know if it's going to have a happy ending. But right. with God, there's always a happy ending. Exactly. No matter how bad a situation gets or how bad a situation is, with God in your life, there will always be a happy ending because God is on your side. Amen, that's true. The Bible says that uh, whether you go into the fire, he will be with you through the water. He's going to always be there. He is there with you us Amen. and so. it says uh, he that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty but you need to know that he loves you he cares for you he has your best interest at heart Amen. he's fighting for you on your side it's no point and no use just fighting for this world because this world this finished. world is finished it's on its last leg you are sitting in the titanic I love the way you, she always says On that. The Titanic, it's so <laughs> you are basically <laughs> in it, and it's sinking. It is. And you're going down with it unless you take the lifesaver of Jesus Christ. Amen. He is the lifesaver that could help you jump off the ship before you crash with it. Exactly. So basically, that's it. You know what? Forget about it. You know, let these people, let, let the crazy you, uh, unbelievers fight for what they think is going to... that. It's finished. It's a lost cause already. But mm. just be strong in the word of God. And Amen. just fight for the truth. And you know what? The Lord will, whether you're staying in this on this earth, whether you're, he has to take you home to heaven, you will be with him if you have Jesus Christ in your Amen. heart. Well, you know, here's, here's a simple little prayer that you could pray. If you don't know Jesus, guys, there's nothing left, really. I mean, this world is finished. That's it. It said when they said, "Oh, this is the new norm. This is the new norm: confusion, war, isolation, right. insecurity, and that's the new norm." But and you know fear. what? And fear. If you have Jesus, you have a rock that will never change. Jesus Christ said, "Yesterday, today, forever." forever. Jesus is the it's same. Me. So I'd like to offer you this opportunity. I mean, uh, at least, I asked you a question. Why wouldn't you like like Trump? <laughs> okay, watch everybody hate Jesus because of Trump. He said, what the hell do you have to lose? <laughs> Black people. <laughs> and it's true. What do you have to lose? Oh, I don't believe in God. I don't want to believe in God. <laughs> so what? What are you going to lose? What would you lose by receiving Jesus as your personal savior? And at least you have the insurance now, he's not an Indian giver. If you ask Jesus to come into your life and give you eternal life and for you and save you and give you that, he will be with you no matter whatever happens to you. He grabs you like this. As soon as you ask Jesus in your life, he grabs you. You may let go, but he's got you, and he's going to keep you forever. So I'd like to lead you in a little simple prayer, and uh, I'd like to uh, encourage you to keep looking to Jesus and just really stop being chumps. And stop believing everything these people uh, say to you and all this stuff on TV. Because you'll be out there killing your grandma. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I mean, listen, stupid. they're causing people to be against each other. And, and rat on each other if the people don't get the vaccine. Mm. Or right. if they have the coronavirus or something like that. They say the best, best thing you can do to help other people is to rat on your own family. Yeah, that's, that's okay. That's totally a, that's ridiculous. another story. That's another video itself. But anyway, we'd like to get to like the videos and No, but the Bible says that people are going to be turning against, against each, each other. other. Man, uh, for, you even know, the family members. Right, exactly. So guys, you you're witnessing once again Bible prophecy. But let me say yeah. this prayer with you. If you'd like to receive Jesus and you like to know him, just say a simple prayer like this. You could say something to the effect of Jesus, I don't understand all these things. And I don't want to be out uh, hating others. I have peace. I have people who've been kind to me or people that love me or, or just, I just like humanity. I want to help man humanity. So I really want to understand all these things. And I really want to be free from all this hatred and war and strife that's going on in the world. Please come into my life. Come into my heart. And forgive me for my sins and things that I've done wrong to other people and help me to 
read your word, and understand more about you. And fill me with your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, amen. A simple prayer is simple as that, and you are connected to the one God and his son of the universe. And he will show you the truth. That's right. And we're not lying. We're not here to try to get clicks. We're just here to try to tell you that Jesus Christ is coming. And his kingdom is about to be able about to be established on earth. And these events you're watching are Bible prophecies that were predicted thousands of years ago being fulfilled That's right sure. before your very eyes. Uh -huh. That's all we can say. We can't say any more than that. That's right. So we, we do love you guys out there. We love you, and we are glad that you tune in and listen to our videos. And remember uh, to keep logging on to our YouTube channel, The Monty Cagle, like the sign up here, The Monty Cagle YouTube channel for more classes and, and structural videos and just good old-fashioned get-togethers. So check them out at the Monty Cagle YouTube channel. Don't forget to get my book, Racism and the Cure. You can get it online at montycagle.com. You see the store page and click on it and you'll, my book will pop up and you can get the e-version, which is a good, good price. And also we'd like to ask you to also go to our website and donate to our cause. We have been sharing this truth for the last... 50 years of our lives around the world, mm -hmm. Melody and I, mm -hmm. and uh, we need your help to share more. Please donate, give a donation if you like to help us in our work and be partners with us. Well, I'm just telling you the truth. It's always not the money, these people. But you know what? <laughs> you are going to be blessed for helping us That's right. to share God's truth with the world. You're, you're going to die. Any, I'm going to say it. I don't care. I don't care. We all are going to die. <laughs> I don't care what the, God, the, the globalists true. say or the scientists say. If you are out there in the street, you're going to get shot one of these days or hit by a car or whatever. But you know what? Everything that you do for the cause of Jesus Christ That's and true. the cause of God in this life will be rewarded in the next. And it will be forever. And it's not a joke. It's not a make believe. It's not a fairy tale. The science, you know, all these people. I love science. There's nothing wrong with science. But you think you're always down here asking for money. You think you're always down here asking for help. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. And especially if you're a Christian, and especially if there's people that you like and people that you see are all who are doing the work of God, and you can't do it, so you might as well help them do it. Right. Right? You don't see me. You see the little black <laughs> background right here? <laughs> It's a picture, you know that? But but we need your help, and we ask you to please remember us. If nothing else, please pray for us and pray that we can get off our butts and do as much, a lot more than what we're doing right now. We're oldie goldies, but we're going to, you know what? We're going to take it to the max. How about you? Will you do your best for God's kingdom? Will he stand, will you stand before Jesus and he says, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Y'all know, y'all see me in New York all these days, these years I did with my kids. You guys have seen me around the world and see me out there in the street tap dancing and sharing God's love and witnessing and doing everything I possibly could because I know it's the truth. Will you do the same? God bless you and have a beautiful Sunday. And don't forget to keep logging in onto the Monty chat on Sundays with Teresita and Monty Cagle. Have a beautiful Sunday. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, we love you. Bye. Bye.